sure if I shared these things with y'all. Um, I've had four uh, significant uh, dreams. Um, the first one was uh, before the rapture. This is the angels preparing for the Lord's coming. And I was uh, actually walking in the yard and a vision opened up in heaven. And I saw, I don't I mean, you can't even, the, the number of angels was just, it was just this huge storm of angels in the heaven in the heaven above me right just right above in the air above and they weren't they weren't you know how when something starts to um spin really uh fast how everything kind of tightens up it wasn't like that but they were a little bit still spread out but they were they were swarming they were going around in a huge circle and the lord says uh tell my people i'm coming soon okay and so the angels were swarming Okay, then in the rapture, um, I'm in heaven. I'm in heaven and I'm talking to people. And we're talking and we're laughing and just talking. And someone to my right says, oh look, the rapture's taking place. And I turn and look to my right and all of these beaming souls, these like little lights are, and I can see down to earth. I can see down to earth, but it's like a sudden light burst to start to flooding up from the earth to heaven and it was the rapture so the first one was the angels that the lord said warn my people i'm coming soon and the second one was um the rapture okay and that's all the souls leaving earth and i saw this okay and then the third one was during the tribulation and them loading up all the people okay i'm walking and there are new it's new roads built and I look down and there's like a bridge. I'm walking along the side of like a, a, a an intersection like and I look and the the um the roads are built up, all the roads are built up on bones. On just bones. And the Lord shows me this. He shows me roads of bones. There's new construction of fences built up. There's a, a rail system and there's um guards in uniforms that are of like an Asian descent and they're guards and they're directing people on the rail system and I knew in my spirit that it was uh, for destruction. I knew that they were killing God's people, okay? And so, and the fences were high. They were like electric. Uh, there was no way to get around the fences. But as I walk under the bridge, um, the road, but I walk under the bridge and then I have to walk through the fences of the rail system and it's uh, me and Adrian were carrying stuff too. I don't remember what we're carrying. And all of a sudden I see a road to the right. And the Lord says, look right, you know, go right. And I see this opening to the right, knowing that actually we're gonna be killed, but I'm not getting on that rail system. I know that. And I see this open road and I just say, run! And we just turn and run and we hear gunshots and we fall. Okay. And then the fourth one was, I'm walking out in the yard and suddenly I hear something I've never heard before. It is a trumpet, it is a sound, it is a call. And I look up to my right and suddenly this, I've never seen something so bright ever, ever, ever. No, nothing. And a light pierces from the clouds so much that I have to, I actually jump back like I have to guard try to look and I try to look and I see this reflection and it's opening up and I can feel something like I feel and I see and it's Jesus and he's coming home on his horse he's coming to get the leftover saints the overcomers that are left here during the tribulation it is the second coming and I see him start coming through and let me tell you as a horseback rider and I, I can I will tell you I'm more of what a trainer would call an aggressive rider, okay? I mean, there's nothing timid about me. I have never seen, ever, in all the horse races, out of all the training, out of all the competitions, I have never seen what I saw that day. And that's Jesus and the way he rides his horse to earth is unlike anything you have ever seen. It took me weeks to be able to talk about it because I would get so choked up over what I saw of how he rides to earth. 
okay? During the second coming, the way that his horse thrusts in the cloud, his horse reaches out with every bit of power within him, and he thrusts, the Lord our God, back to earth, to Mount Olive, for his people. I have never seen a horse move like that. Oh, Lord, behold. I have never seen anyone ride anything, anything like the Lord our God ride for his people left during the tribulation. Let me tell you thanks what God, what he's doing now. He is calling out for people to change. You don't want to be left for the tribulation. But when he does come home for those ones, boy, he rides home like you have never seen. It is the best thing that you have ever laid your eyes upon because the horse, the, the horse, yeah, I can't even describe to you the way that horse moves. That horse has a job. His job is to ride the earth, ride the Lord our God down to earth. And he thrusts in the air. He pulls with all of his might. And let me tell you, the way that Jesus rides down the destination, the desire, the love in his heart for his people. It's just so much. It's just so much. It's so great. It's indescribable. It's just so indescribable. And then I, the Lord, he just rides and he rides. And then I came to, and let me tell you, I had to cry and I praise and worship him for days and days, weeks and weeks. And just to be able to describe that what I saw is we can't get it. You can't get it. We just can't comprehend what's to come. We can't comprehend the, the rapture. We can't comprehend the tribulation and the things to come. Guys, when he's telling us that he's going to destroy things, when he tells us to follow his commands because the things that are coming are serious. It's so serious. You want to tell and you want to share with everybody. Oh, you want to love God. You want to find Jesus. 